Oh yeah, good morning once again, my uh, Facebook Live friends. Good morning. Uh, Bob Miramar here. And it's uh, February 25. And uh, it is already about 4 uh, 22 in the morning, early in the morning. Hello, how are you? I am so excited to be um, with you this morning. And I am wishing you all the best. Rizal Armada, how are you? Charles Concon, bro, good morning. Thank you that you are already also uh, awake. Maganda maganda umaga sa inyo lahat and uh, pagkatapos ng kagabi just after last night's uh, live coverage as we talk about part of James. This morning because it's Monday although it's a holiday in the Philippines I have in my heart to share something with you. How God would respond A person's personal choice to obey God and to make God His God and because of what God wants a person makes his life pleasing to the eyes of the Lord. And he will always try to make his life to be an honor unto his God. We'll have our devotion coming from Psalms 37, verse 25. If I may read this to you, it says, I have been young. Now I'm old, yet I have not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his descendants begging bread. In Tagalog mula na ako'y bata pa hanggang ngayon ako'y matanda na, wala akong nakikita na taong tapat at matuwid sa harapan ng Panginoon, pinabayaan ng Diyos, o kaya ang kaya mga anak ay mamamlimus ng tinapay. This is a very powerful one because it speaks about if we just will just obey God and do what He wants us to do, you will surely also receive the power of the reciprocating character of God. It is His character. He lays down what is necessary to be done and when the believer his child does according to his will it says the Lord remembers your works the Lord remembers your faith the Lord looks at us every moment and he knows the way of the righteous and as well as he doesn't have to discover the way of those who go against His will because everything is known. So there is no problem for God to know our ways, whether good or bad. But one thing is for sure. If we do good and we went patiently on Him, he knows the and the rewards are made ready for us to collect one after the other without end if we will just follow God diligently since time began when the psalmist experienced God could be said that he himself had experienced this since when he was just 
a teenager until when he is old already and so he can have also reflected this to his own self that he's been young and now he is old God has never forsaken him and this is one thing when a person tries his best to obey God and God is watching over him every detail of his life and when this person who is obedient to God's lives or even fails God's hand of power and help will rescue that man shall we pray that God's hand will be upon you always of course I wanted God's hand to be with me upon me and my children and your children and family too why because God loves us God is so loving his love shall never waver. shall we pray Panginoon, nagpapasalamat po kami sa iyong dakilang kabutihan. Yung pag-ibig mo kailanman hindi nagmamaliw, ito hindi nagbabago. Mana pa, ito'y laging nagiging sagana at sariwa sa tuwing umaga. At ang araw na ito, araw ng lunis sa iyong nilikha at ginawa. Kung kaya, Panginoon, dinudulog namin ito sa iyo. Pinagkakatiwala namin ito sa iyo. Dahil po, hawak mo ang aming buhay. Hawak mo ang aming kinabukasan. At ang bawat isa ngayon na nanonood, nagbabantay nitong devotion live over FB. At yung mamaya-maya pa lang nila ito pakikinggan. Mamaya-maya pa lang nila ito susubaybayan. Later in the day Father While they are still sleeping While they are still resting I pray that your hand of power Will touch their life That when they wake up Everything is already arranged Everything in their life Today and tomorrow and the following day. Let them experience your awesome goodness. And those whose family is struggling, being bombarded with many things and challenges, trials of faith, attacks of Satan, and even suffering from their own personal decisions. Lord, your guiding hand, allow, just allow your powerful hand to recover each of them. And recover the days for them. Yes, we can never bring back the days that had passed, but the future events of their life. Hawakan mo, Panginoon. Maraming maraming salamat o Diyos. Pagpalain mo ang kalahanap buhay. Pagpalain mo, Panginoon, ang kalang kalusugan. Pagpalain mo ang lahat ng hakbangin nila sa buhay. Yung mga nagtatrabaho sa abroad at malayo sa pamilya nila, Panginoon, dalangin ko po, dadating yung pagkakataon na babalik na sila sa piling ng kalang mga malo sa buhay. Pahintulutan mong Ano mang kalamplano, whether mag, mag-iipon sila ng kapital para sa klang negosyo, turuan mo sila, Panginoon, kung anong uri ng negosyo ang nararapat nilang buksan, kung paano nila ito patatakbuhin, turuan mo sila ng wisdom, sino ang kanilang kakausapin, kung nangangailangan po sila ng mga business partners. So that mag sila at sumagana o masenso sa buhay. Dalangin ko yung mga kaibigan ko na sa Amerika, 
nasa Africa, Europa, Canada, even nandito sa Asia at ang nandito Panginoon sa Pilipinas. ay yung kamay na makapangyarihan ay igawad mo sa kalambas-bas. Ganon din po, Panginoon, yung mga pastor at mga pastora, pamilya nila, lalo na, dalangin ko, pag-ingatan mo po sila. Dalangin ko, pagpalain mo ang ministry nila, kalusugan nila, at ang bawat isa sa kalang mga buhay. Lord, thank you so much. Bless the Philippines and bless this country. Allow, O Lord, your will and your plan manifested over this country so that when our children grow and mature, they would see the answered prayers on this country. And they would be encouraged not to leave country and establish their life here. Thank you so much in Jesus' name. Amen. So, that is it. Um, God will never forsake any one of His children. God will never leave any one of His children. So in every need and every situation, God's hand is always there. God's hand will always be ready. to manifest help and even direct our path and bring us up to triumph and success. Thank you so much. Later of the day, I will be taping about your marriage killer number three. Shalom for now. I am uh, having this video short. so that I could also share this through YouTube, right? The Day of Hope Live is going to YouTube so that not only you can, can partake with the Word of God and with our devotion, but also for all who are following the YouTube. Why? I have a burden. I want to see all men able to lead the respective family, wife and children right so that they could live a legacy for the future and their children like mine will also continue believing in the Lord, passing on this to their children someday so that we could raise up a community of believers so that we could raise up a city of believers so that we could raise up a nation of believers hoping that we can do that before the Lord Jesus Christ returns so I'm inviting you do your part do your respective part let us bring about the sharing of the word and the gospel to people because the gospel is the light giving life. Shalom and good morning. I am so happy that you are with me and see you again later.